Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to filter orders in the CQG desktop platform. To filter orders, you'll need to have an orders widget open. To do that, click on the Add a Widget button and scroll down to the Orders Widgets section. Now, you can actually filter orders in any of these miscellaneous order widgets, but I would suggest on opening just the main orders widget. Now, unfortunately, because I am running a newly created demo account, I don't have any previous orders to show you here but I'll still be able to show you how to filter them. So to filter an order, you're gonna want to head to the top right hand corner of your orders widget and click on this button right here. When you click, you'll notice you get the option to filter orders and you have multiple ways to filter your orders. You can filter by the status, which is where all those miscellaneous order widgets would come into place. And that is why I suggested picking the general orders widget because you have the option to filter by all of these. You can also filter by order types, by the durations of your orders, whether you want to filter your orders by buy or sells or both, the size of the contracts. I like this unique feature. You can filter orders by orders placed at a certain time. So if I wanted to filter my orders based off of an order after 2 p.m., I can filter by that. And I can filter by specific symbols as well. Now I did not mention it before, but I left it for last because I believe it is the most important. Filtering orders by date. Now you can filter your orders by date, by the current date, yesterday, last week, the last seven days, the last 30 days, or custom. A custom filter allows traders to filter by two specific dates on a calendar. So if we click on these dates right here, we can choose orders between, let's say, February 13th and March 17th. And as you can see here, our orders have been set. And as you may have noticed behind my filter order box, two orders have actually been populated because they met the criteria of my custom date. And as you can see, we can confirm this based off the order placement time here. They were both placed on 314. Therefore, they met the conditions, so they were populated into my filtered orders. It is also worth mentioning that you can reset these filters if you need to for whatever reason. Simply go back to the filter button and scroll down to the bottom left hand side of your filter orders window and simply click on reset filter and your filters will be reset. One final note, CQG Desktop allows for great customization options when it comes to filters. It really allows traders to find and pinpoint contracts they have traded in the past with ease. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.